Hi, I'm Tom and in this tutorial I will show you how to import Point Cloud into FreeCAD and do some basic manipulations of the Point Cloud. I will be using this Point Cloud file which you can download from Sketchfab and it's by Vupledarts. The link is in the description box below. And I'm using FreeCAD 1.0 in this tutorial. So let's jump into FreeCAD and I have an empty file opened and it's now important to switch to the points workbench. So I will switch to points workbench and you can see these tools for working with point clouds. You can import ASC, PCD, PLY or E57 point cloud file format into FreeCAD. And to import a point cloud, it's quite easy. You just fire up the import points command. Then you search your disk. And I've got this point cloud.ply. It's the, it's the one that I showed you previously. And I will import it. And you can see that the point cloud is imported. And it's one object in FreeCAD. Depending on the size of the point cloud, you might see nothing or something. It's a good practice to show view fit all so it's zoomed on the point cloud. And you can see if I click on the point cloud, it has a view property and the data properties and it's in the 3D view. So now if I rotate around the point cloud, you can see that it's there. But it's not, uh, it's just all gray points, which reduces what I can see in the point cloud. So I will select the point cloud, go to the view properties. And here we've got an option of display mode. And we have got four options. The first one is points, which shows just the gray points. If the point cloud has color, you can make the color visible by selecting the color display mode. And now you can see that the point cloud is much clearer to understand that I have a skeleton here, I have a bed here and a mirror here. So this is nice. Then you have the option to turn on shaded, not sure if this is practical, and then uh, intensity again, uh, probably uh, it's best to just have the best to just have the color turned on. Now what we can also adjust in the view properties. If I zoom in, you can see that I have got these spaces between the points and I can actually change the point size. So if I change it to one, you can see that the each individual points is smaller and this is just the visibility on my in my 3D viewport. And if I change it to five, it makes the it makes the it makes the experience uh, with without the spaces. So uh, it fills in the empty spaces. So this is the point size and the display mode. I think these are the most important important properties. Now for the basic manipulation, if I look at the point cloud from the top, and if I switch to draft workbench. I can actually use my move tool and move the whole point cloud and I will move it here or I can also rotate it. So if I have the point cloud selected, I can fire up the rotate tool and I can rotate it. I will just rotate it by hand like so. So the basic modification works. What unfortunately does not work is scaling of the point cloud. That's a bit more difficult task. Let me know in the comments below uh, if you would like me to create another video, video where I show how to scale point clouds. Now to check up the scale, I will draw a line here. But before I draw a line, if you are using draft workbench or BIM workbench uh, tools, it's good to turn off snapping because if you have snapping turned on, depending on the power of your CPU, the FreeCAD might freeze for a while when you, when you want to snap on the point. So it's good practice to first turn off snapping. And if I draw a line from here 
to here you can see that the line is 34 millimeters long so i guess the measurement of the of the point cloud was taken in decimeters so we have to we have to be careful about the size of the point cloud because by default FreeCAD imports the units as millimeters now if i wanted to see just the part of the point cloud i could use from the pim workbench i could use the section plane but first i will deselect the line and now i will create the section plane and you can see that it's created like so so actually i will make the section plane a bit uh, smaller the display height and display width and I will make it 50 and 50 so it's like so now if I look from the front view I can move the axis the section a bit up so in the data I will go to placement position and in the Z I will change the value to let's say 10 millimeters and now i will turn the section on so in the view i will change the cut view from false to true and if i click here you can see that the section plane actually cuts the the point cloud so this might be useful and it's non-destructive you can use the section plane i will now change it to false and hide the section plane and uh, what you can also do is get rid of some of the points that you don't want to work with in your project so let's say uh, let's say I wanted to, to get rid of this part of the of the point cloud uh, I could go back to the points workbench and I could I will select the point cloud and I will use this tool cut point cloud but be careful this cuts off the points and it's not reversible you can see that I've got the, the scissor symbol and now I create a polygon so if I click here and I will click here click here click here and to actually cut these points away which are inside of the polygon I will right click and select finish and you can see that these points are taken away and uh, again be careful because this action is non-reversible so now actually from the top view let's say i wanted to create the basic outline of the room so i could fire up my wall tool and create walls based on uh, based on the based on the uh, point cloud so then if i look around you could see that i can create a model around the around the point cloud and it's a free cad model now the last thing i will show you as a free cad 1.0.1 importing e57 files has a little bit of a catch so if i create a new file and here in my documents folder i've got uh, e57 point cloud but if i go to my points workbench and want to import this point cloud you can see that i don't see it here in the open dialog this is because it's fi filtering only asc pcd and ply files but if I uh, show all files, I can select the E57 point cloud and open it and uh, it, actually, it actually works. So hopefully this will be fixed uh, in the future releases of FreeCAD that you won't have this, this little catch with the E57 point cloud. So this is it about basics of working with point clouds inside of FreeCAD. If you like using FreeCAD, consider donating to the project. The link to the donate page is in the description box below. I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next one.